Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Angela. And this is take four. Me trying to do all the runner up decks that were not in my top ten. So let's go. Without further ado, I have a lot of decks to show you. The first one is the Green Witch Tarot. It is by Llewellyn. I etched it in this green. These are the backs. Everybody knows what this deck is. Um, it's stunning. I love it to pieces. This card is the only one, if you haven't noticed, um, that doesn't have an animal or insect. If you see one in there, let me know, because I haven't seen anything. Um, it's a beautiful deck. I love it to pieces. And that's that. Um, next we have the Tarot of the Witch's Garden. Um, uh, also Llewellyn Publication. I love it to pieces. I edge it in this beautiful army green. Stunning, stunning deck. Love it to pieces. You guys have all seen this. Um, I love this card here with the frogs. Um, and the fall weather, it's stunning. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Um, yeah. That is the Tarot of the Witch's Garden. Next, we have the Stretch Tarot by J.E. Stretch. This is the Make Playing Cards version that came out in 2022. It's a linen card stock. Stunning. Stunning. Um, this is a workhorse deck for me. And the only reason it's in this list now is because um, I got this newer copy this year. And it's stunning, and I love it to pieces. And... That's all she wrote, because I love this deck. Two pieces. It's in my top ten favorite of all time. Um, which y'all should know that, because I talk about it a lot. Um, next we have the True Crime deck. True Crime. It's literally just, uh, I just got it recently. Used it for missing people. Um, people that have passed. It's amazing. Um, this is the second edition. The first edition is still on Etsy where I got that, but I didn't realize I was getting a second edition. This is the Enchanted for Hoxa Tarot. is by Hay House. I love it to pieces. All of these decks could have been in almost in my top ten. <laughs> for real. Um, they're stunning. They're beautiful. I love them to pieces. Um, yeah, stunning, gorgeous, beautiful. I love it. Yeah. And that's the for Hoxa Tarot. I'm going through this fast because I really don't want to have to do this a fifth time. Um, I, I don't know what's going on with my phones lately, but they just keep not recording right. Okay, so now we have the... Universal Monsters Tarot. This is a beautiful deck by Inside Editions. The only complaint I have really is that the uh, it's a thicker card stock than the other Inside Edition decks I have. I love the people in this. It's stunning. I love it. Two pieces. Plus I have a lot of decks. I need to get through them all. <laughs> Next we have the Tarot for Great Outdoors. Um, love this deck. It is my, uh, yeah. Love the backs. Love the fronts. Um, the, oh my gosh. It's got a lot of, uh, the majors all have a U.S. themed national park. The cards are stunning. Um, they're beautiful. You could use these for any time of the year. Um, They've got all the seasons in there. It's stunning. I love that hermit. Gorgeous deck. Okay. Next, we have the mass market version of the Unfolding Pop Tarot. I have both versions. I got both versions this year. The uh, out now out of print in indie deck and this version. Um, stunning deck. I love it to pieces. I don't know why it's all turned around, but yeah, everybody knows this deck. Everybody wants this deck. 
Everybody has this deck. It's beautiful and I love it. And it's Hay House deck. Okay. That's everything on my couch. So now I have the in bulk Seasons of the Witch. I just got this recently. I have not put it down. Um, for some reason, I'm obsessed with blue stuff lately. And I love it to pieces. Love it to pieces. It is fantastic with the Yuletide Tarot, which is here somewhere. Um, and I don't know if I'm going to put it away after Christmas or not. It is, uh, I guess, for January time of year, going into February, but I don't know. We'll see. Stunning deck. Darkwood Tarot. It's the mini. Um, just came out not that long ago. I love it to pieces. You guys have seen all this deck. Um, this is one of the few minis I've gotten that I'm like, eh, I might need to get the bigger size because I need the book. I'm pretty sure I need the book in my life. <laughs> Next, we have the Children of Litha. This is the uh, the real version. I got the knockoff version a couple years ago. It was pretty peeved because I spent like 40 bucks on it. Um, it's beautiful. Um silk mat here this is an indie deck if you didn't know i freaking love this deck two pieces two pieces it's one of my faves oh not one of my ten, top 10 faves but it's up there like i said all of these decks could have been um in in my uh yeah in my top 10 that's why i'm doing this video because there's a lot. Okay, I only got like five decks left. So we have this one I put in this pouch for now. It is the Yuletide Tarot. I have used it nonstop uh, for Christmas. I will be putting it away after Christmas. Love this mistletoe here. It's a stunning deck. I love it to pieces. Um, it, it's stunning. I love it. So hard. And I've already used it for mediumship readings and all kinds of stuff. So it's a well-rounder uh, Llewellyn deck. Um, beautiful. Next we have the Cardomancer Poker Player deck. Um, and I only have four decks left after that. This is a this almost made it into my Oracle decks just because it's got keywords on it. Um, it's very cool um, for a playing card deck it's got different pictures on it i have been using it as an oracle deck um actually made up a um uh, uh spread using this deck it was awesome next we have the neo feminine neoteric feminine tarot they have a uh, by weiss bell they have a new deck coming out i'm intrigued in um i just happened to see this on amazon for like 15 bucks it's Thin, but it shuffles well and it's got a gilded go gilding um this was actually a kickstarter before it was on uh amazon and i paid 15 bucks for it i'm like i love it it's pink it's purples it's got all the colors all the colors <laughs> it's very rws so you can just toss it in your purse and go and do a reading for somebody it's beautiful and i love it it's got body diversity it's got age diversity it's got uh, all the diversity. Beautiful deck. Next, we have a deck I've had for four years in all of my decks. Uh, beautiful backs. This is a make playing card deck. Uh, bought it, got it, uh, and it sat on my shelf for four years. And then this year it was like, hey, use me. And I've been using it nonstop for the last few months. It's beautiful. It, whatever kind of reading you need it for, it's going to do. It's fabulous. Fabulous deck. And I love it to pieces. And I'm going through these kind of fast so I can get through the video. If you want to walk, watch a walkthrough of any of these, I have a playlist of all the walkthroughs on my, on my, um, on my channel. This is the Teddy Tarot. It's so cute and little. I love it. I edged it in purple and yellow. Mm, it's beautiful. And my dog is going to crazy when I've got two decks left. Um, I love it. Look at the fire. 
Um, it's so cute. It's it's cute, but then it's done some hard hitting readings, some like very hard hitting readings, and I'm like, what is happening? Um, it's stunning. I love it to pieces. Uh, I if I want to just a quick read, I can grab this out. Love it. It's stunning. Stop. I have one deck left. Sorry, guys. Oh, you see that? Flying something flew. Okay, last deck. They almost made it in my top ten. It is the Keeper of the Sacred Bee. This is the last in the trilogy of the Bee series by Kelly Burton. This one is lavender edging and metallic lavender bags with the sunflower I'm a sucker for. Um... There's nothing I can't say about her art. This deck almost made it in my top ten. Um, there's two in here that oh, almost made it in my top ten, but not quite. Um, I just haven't used it enough. Um, I will be doing that more in 2024. Just because uh, Journey of the Sacred Bee, which is based on the Thaw, is one of my top five favorite decks. This one is not going to be no different. It's based on Art of US, if you can't tell. It's just the colors in it are fabulous. And I love it. Two pieces. And that is on my decks. I think there's 18 I just went through in like 11 minutes. Um, last time it was 20. The first time it was 20. And then I realized it had broken all the videos up for some reason. Um, this is all the decks. I The runner-up decks. The honorable mention decks. The decks that I felt needed a spotlight moment. Even if it is for a second. Because they're decks that were almost top 10 or could have easily been swapped out of my top 10 for the year of 2023. Um, I felt like they all needed honorable mentions because it was a very hard decision to come up with 10 only. Uh, which I've already showed that video. It's already up. And uh, Oracle 2. So this was my honorable mention decks. If you guys have any questions, comments, concerns... Don't hesitate to comment below. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more, please subscribe. And don't forget to hit that notification button. So you're alerted to any future videos. And y'all have a good night.